for hope. Here playing. I have to stay hidden or they won't let me film them. Where the hell is it? There it is. See it? Oh, it's gone. Oh, some dots. Hi, my name's Dan and I'm a student at the University of Edinburgh and my idea is the application of game theory to humour. So essentially a way of analysing different types of humour with reference to strategies or levels within game theory. So you can have level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. Level 1 is fundamentally serious, not really playing a strategy in the game at all, completely unaware. Level 2 would be irony or sarcasm, so maybe telling a pre-written joke to a friend to try and make them laugh. Level three is serious, but with an element of self-awareness and a joke. So we take a Texan, for example, who enjoys wearing cowboy boots every day. Uh, he thinks they look good, but he knows it's a little bit ridiculous for him to wear them. His friends think that as well, and he sort of plays off their perception of that. So it's fundamentally serious, but he is aware it's a little bit ridiculous. Level four is a joke, but uh, playing off someone else's perception of the stereotype they have of you. So if we take the Texan again, Texans are often stereotyped as Christian, Republican, and maybe a little bit racist. So you could make a joke out of someone thinking that you think like that. Um, even though you're fundamentally joking, they might actually believe that you are like that, and that's where the humour is derived from. Level five is moving up from that to actually becoming a self-caricature and almost conforming completely to the stereotype. So the Texan, who jokes so much about all these stereotypical things, ultimately finds himself voting for Mitt Romney, uh, being an evangelical Christian, and saying slightly off-colour jokes. So level one is serious, level two is a joke, level three is serious with a bit of self-awareness, level four is a joke in contrast to a stereotype, and level five is becoming that stereotype.